Hello. Welcome to AI Factory. In previous videos, I taught how to set up DeepSeek R1 and use it to program instances running on a local computer. I also covered how to use local DeepSeek in Visual Studio Code for writing code. Today, I'll guide you through the steps to call DeepSeek in Python code. If you haven't deployed a local DeepSeq instance yet, let me show you how to deploy it locally. You only need 4 gigabytes of VRAM to install it, so if your computer can run games, it should work fine. First, let's visit the Alamo website. I've included all the necessary links in the description of my video, so you can check there. Click on Download. Once you're on the website, choose the appropriate version for your computer. Apple Mac, Linux, or Windows. Since my current computer is Windows, I'll select the third option. After downloading, click to install it. When the installation is complete, you should see a small icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. Click on it to enter the command prompt line. If you miss this, you can search for CMD in the bottom left corner to open the command prompt window for deployment. You'll need to know your GPU's VRAM for deployment. Follow this table. 1.5B model. Choose this if your GPU's VRAM is less than 4 GB. Simply copy and paste the provided command to install it. 7B and 8B models. Suitable for GPU's with 8 GB to 12 GB VRAM. 14B model requires a GPU with more than 12 GB VRAM. 32B and 70B models. Four even more powerful GPUs with larger VRAM. For example, I'll choose the 8B model. Copy the command line for this model, paste it in your command prompt, and hit enter to complete the installation. Now that it's installed, we can start using it immediately. If you want to install a more use-friendly UI client interface, please see my previous tutorial. I will not repeat it here. Once the download is complete, open your local terminal and enter the command Alama list. You should see the DeepSeq R1 model listed. As for the code editor VS Code, if you don't have it installed, go to the bottom left corner of your screen, search for Store, and open the Microsoft Store app. Find Visual Studio Code and install it. You can also find and install Python at the same time. Now our preparations are complete. Once everything is set up, we'll start by installing OpenWebWe. Open a command window and run the following command. This process may take some time. In my computer, it complains a Python scripts folder is not in path. Consider adding this directory to path. I'll show you how to fix this issue. In the Windows search bar, type environment variables. Click on edit environment variables for your account. Open it and select path. Click edit and then new. Paste the path you copied from the previous command window. Back in the command window, rerun the command. Pip install OpenWebWe. If you see a long path issue error in red, follow the web link provided for instructions on fixing it in the Windows registry. In the Windows search bar, type regedit to open the registry editor. Navigate to the specified path. Change the value of long path enabled to 1. And you're done. 
Return to the Windows command line and reinstall OpenWebWi. This time, it should successfully install all packages and components. Then, type the following command. It may take some time to get ready the first time. Once you see HTTP slash slash 0.0.0.0 colon 8080, Open WebWi is ready. Open a web browser. I'm using Chrome. Paste the address into the browser's address bar and press enter. If you encounter an error saying the site can't be reached, it means the address 0.0.0.0 is not pointing to the local machine. Instead, use 127.0.0.1 or localhost to replace 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0 the web UI will load, and your request will generate many logs in the command window. The first time you access it, you'll need to provide a name and email to create an admin account. You'll see that the DeepSeq 8B model is installed. This 8B model is the one I installed with Alama, configured based on my GPU's VRAM. Your value might differ, as it depends on the VRAM of your computer's GPU. While we can use it on this web interface, I will demonstrate how to use it in Python code. To use it in Python, we'll need the API key. Click on your account and copy the token. Paste the token into Notepad for later use. We will test the API key first in curl command. Open a command window and type the command. Replace the token with the key you saved in the Notepad. It will return a JSON string contains the model name and info. If you reach here, you are ready to use DeepSeq in Python. In Visual Studio Code, create a new Python file. In the code, import the requests library for HTTP requests. Next, create a function named chat underscore with underscore AI, which takes three parameters, token, model, and query. Token is the API key we copied from OpenWebWi. Model is the name of the model, in this case, DeepSeq R1 colon 8B. Query is the question you want to ask DeepSeq. In the main section of the code, call this function. It will print out the result, which will be a JSON string. And that's the end of this tutorial. This is just the start of using DeepSeq in your code, and there's so much more you can do with a local AI. I've pasted the code below the video in the description area. Feel free to use it, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.